<clears throat> Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I just want to do a comparison video of the Cambridge Concord and the Cambridge Turquoise. They're both King James Version. These two are my favorite of the King James Version thus far. Uh, I used to be a big CBP guy and still would be. Uh, I probably need to go buy some Bibles from them if I ever get back on my feet. Um, they're cheaper. I kind of want to do some reviews for them, get their name back out there again. Um, but just in case anybody was debating on which one to get, I would get both, honestly. Obviously, I did. Um, I hope to get a cameo down the road. I really love Cambridge. I'm a big Cambridge fan. So you guys can tally up points if you want while watching this. I don't really... Do a point system. It's something I probably start in the future. I need to start, you know. Um, but I will just tell you what I think of each Bible. <clears throat> First of all, they are both goat skin. Um, the black, as you can see, has a little bit more of a natural looking grain to it. It's a little bit more rough, but as I use it, it gets more soft and supple. They both are perimeter stitched. Both are edge lined and Smythe sewn. A good example of the Smythe sewn would be right here in the back of this one. When I first seen this, I about had a heart attack. I was, thought it was coming apart, but it's because the stitching starts up here in this particular signature. Here's the stitching right there. Starts right there. Works its way up. Um, <clears throat> So both have those qualities for them. Both have the golden, the gold stamp, Holy Bible on the front, gold stamp on the spine, Holy Bible, King James and Cambridge with their logo. <clears throat> this one has tooled hubs. This is pronounced hubs. They actually stick out. So if that's something you look for in a Bible, you really like the way the hubs look, I would probably give the point to this, although I wouldn't count this out because it still has a little bit grip to it. Uh, so that's there. I think, in my opinion, they're equal. I don't care hubs or no hubs, but somebody with hubs, the point would go to the turquoise. As for the ribbons, point definitely goes to the turquoise. I don't put a lot of emphasis on the ribbons, but these are Beresford. This is the uh, exclusive from Evangelical. It comes in brown and blue. The blue is out at the moment. It will be back in, in July. They are trying to bump that date up, but if they don't get it bumped up, look for it in July. The blue version of the turquoise which will have the blue Beresford ribbons both are red under gold art gilt you will see more of that as i open it headbands are both on uh, both of them are red and gold headbands the ribbons on the concord look like they were an afterthought they were twisted shoved in there whatnot on the turquoise they were more well thought out they're in there perfectly um, so point again for the turquoise, um, <clears throat> presentation pages look the same minus the fact I didn't fill these ones out and I will not fill these out. Um, a pen will not get near my turquoise. It's my baby. Although I did crease a page down Genesis, dog-eared a page in Leviticus and dropped a spot of milk in second Corinthians. Not enough time to go through there and show you all of that. Uh, if you want to see anything, how that looks, you can go on uh, Everything Bibles on the Facebook, Facebook page. And I have posted many pictures of these two Bibles. Um, title page right here. As you can see, different fonts. This is Times Semi-Bold 421, and this is Antique Style number three antique st old style number three 10 11 point font in the turquoise eight nine point font in the concord i would give a point to the concord for the art gilt this is more of a salmon it looks orange in the light of this video here i will try to see if i can get some more natural light in here there we go a little bit better this is a red, more of a faded in the pink. Some would call it a salmon, but I almost call it a pink. 
because the salmon would be more like the pit minion, the older Cambridge art gilt. Um, so here are the two title page. Again, a point to the Concord, in my opinion, for the art gilt. Um, first thing I want to point out is the references. This is bold face, a bold reference system, meaning that whatever side this cross reference, the 40 will be on the left side, six is on the right, 41 on the left. Um, and when you're using this, some people get confused, but if it's on the right and bold, it starts to the left, the references do, and work their way down. If it starts on the left, they start on the right, work their way down, and so on. Um, if I could get a cluster here, which I do think I get to in Jeremiah, or I'm sorry, Second Kings. As you can see here, left, bold, everything to the right and down is for that. Starting here at 19 to the left is 419, down, and so on. Not hard to use. I actually prefer this. That's a point for the Cambridge Concord, in my opinion, because there's no keys or any lettering or anything in the text as there is here that is distracting at times. This is an easier, easier read. Due to the reference system, this reference system is just the keys. You can look over here again. And the reason why I have Second Kings marked is to show you that there isn't some inconsistencies throughout the Old Testament. I have not seen any inconsistencies in the bold print of the New Testament. Only in the Old and only a handful of pages. I would say probably at the most six to seven that I've really noticed. There may be more, but again, you're not going to be on that page the whole time. You're just going to read it and you're going to flip the page. If you have another uh, premium, I'm going to use the ESV Crossway as an example. If you have another premium, the print is not that big of a difference. As a matter of fact, the print on the Concorde still kind of looks a little darker um, than the ESV Crossway, and if not darker, at least the same, if you can see what I mean here. Um, but to the rest of the Concorde, it's light. Big difference may bother some people. <clears throat> if it bothers you, <clears throat> excuse me. If this bothers you, definitely probably would not be a Bible for you. To me, it adds to the authenticity of the classic feel. This is a 1950s type, feels like a 1950s Bible. This is a 1920s type, but it feels like a modern Bible. Reads like an old 20s Bible, <clears throat> fonts like an old 20s Bible. Um, Aesthetically, looks like one, but feels like a new, a newer model just because everything's lined up perfectly. The pages, the ghosting, you can see through the ghosting that, for the most part, things are lined up. Here, again, what's it going lighter to darker? It's more like we would have gotten in the 50s or so. So the next thing I want to point out, and this is throughout the whole Bible, um, this has nothing to do with inconsistencies or consistencies. This is just pointing out what the turquoise font does compared to the <clears throat> Cambridge font. Excuse me, my throat is uh, not cooperating right now. Done too much talking lately, evidently. So as you can see here, thou art a swift dromedary tra traversing her ways. It is ran together. There is really no spacing between it. It does this in many spots. I don't know if it's to save space or what, or if it's just the type font. Probably the type font, but your mind will distinguish that. Uh, you're reading through here. You really don't get hung up on it. To some people, it may be annoying. So I'm just letting you know. That, would, to me, would give a point to the Concord. Concord keeps spaces between the words and does not do that <clears throat> every now and then here it kind of does it again um so there would be a, a point for the concord in my opinion here you can see the title pages i'm showing these because aesthetically this is pleasing in the um turquoise 
and the Concord is likewise <clears throat> aesthetically pleasing in my opinion, but not as much so as the turquoise. The turquoise is the red letter. This is the black letter. I opted out of the red letter for this because I'm more of a black letter fan. Plus the red letter I've heard on page on the page where John 3.16 falls, it's very light compared to the rest of the red. And I think there's enough of the black going light. I don't need the red doing the same. This Bible here has had no inconsistency. So again, that's a point for the turquoise as well as for the title page, a point for the turquoise. If you flip over here to Matthew, I want to show you something about this. And this does not happen in this Bible. So again, a point for the turquoise right here. If you can see here, on this page here, page 5, you can see the ghosting of 6 through that. The reason why is because 6 pretty much was almost off the page. But again, aesthetically to me, uh, authentically, I should say, it feels like a 1950s Bible. It feels like the printing press went off and off the page a little bit. It feels more authentic. Also... Just right in this area, it's nowhere else in this Bible. Most of the time, the Bible lines right up. As you can see with the ghosting here, the, the numbers are at the bottom of the page are lining up. But here, they just seem off. Five's up here, six is down here, seven's here, eight's over here, seven's over here. Because seven pretty much ran off the page to the right of the... You can tell the difference in the uh, margins here. Um, you can also tell the difference when you flip the page. Right here, you can see the ghosting from seven have been slid over to the margin a little too far. Again, authentically pleasing, so I give I myself personally give no more points to the, tur the turquoise, but to the viewers, definitely a point for the turquoise. Um, consistency is important to people that buy high-end Bibles, 205, 176, 179 for the red letter. I will continue to favor this for the authentic classic feel. Um, also for portability, this gets the win for me because you can just sit like this with it in your hand. That one you kind of have to balance and it's a little more slick feeling when you move it around and it, the heaviness of it, it's not real a lot more heavy, but it will slide out of your hand a little easier than this does. Um, let's move on to after Revelations, you have a glossary. In this it's a short glossary like seven eight pages long i like to see a bigger one i think the if you want a bigger glossary which is almost like king's english in the schuyler canterbury um i i do believe it's big larger i don't know if anybody knows leave a comment in the uh comment section below but here is a, a glossary this goes straight to a concordance um it is triple column Paragraph form concordance. And this is the regular glossary here. And like I said, you go about eight pages in. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages. So there's the end of the glossary. It's not really an extended glossary by any means and really not super helpful. So there's really no points there. And this concordance here. This is what this looks like. Concordance to the Old and New Testament. Um, it is, concordance here is 139 pages long. And the concordance on this is 112 pages long. Granted, I think they're the same concordance roughly. This is triple column, more room on the page. So therefore, it's gonna take up more pages in the concord. Not only on the top of the concordance, you get a Bible dictionary in the concord. So you got a lot more references in the concord, definitely a point or two for the concord for that. Um, and this Bible dictionary is 128 pages long.
and then in both of them we get into the maps the maps are the same as it would appear to be the case right up front and they are the same they are color coded index map index but when we it is on a glossy paper in the turquoise a shiny glossy paper but not quite as shiny as like a crossway per se but it is glossy enough that the point for maps in my opinion goes to the Concord. This is a matte finish. This is a slick finish. Colors pop a little bit better on the slicker, the glossier finish. But again, I prefer the matte finish. Um, if I've forgotten anything or if you guys want to see it, know more about comparisons of these two Bibles, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer your questions. Um, I don't get notifications when someone leaves a comment, so I check regularly these videos um, and another thing a point for the turquoise would be that this is a synthetic liner on the inside of the concord it almost looks if you if you have one in person it almost looks like it's a clear synthetic rubber of some sort and when you see through to the leather goat skin leather it's what it appears to be I don't know what it exactly is, but that's what it looks like. And this having a natural liner, natural leather liner, it definitely has a point for the turquoise. So again, if you're looking for the perfect, perfect premium, I would go with the turquoise in the KJV. This is the perfect KJV premium in my opinion. It doesn't have all the bills and whistles that the Allen has. If you're looking for that, then by all means, hit the Allen or the Schuyler page. Um, you can buy all of them from Evangelical. I like to give them a shout out always, but this does not have the gold. It feels more classic to me. This doesn't have the gold. It feels more classic to me. Um, I prefer that this way, especially in a KJV, you know, it's a new modern translation like ESV, even NKJV, um, NIV, all of those, I would probably prefer the gold line. <clears throat> Makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing. As you can see with the Bible I used for a reference earlier, we'll just go ahead and use it again. The gold perimeter gilt line makes a really beautiful Bible. And it, this is just a beautiful Bible, guys, by Crossway. Um, but I think we'll end the video there. Um, I think I've got all the comparisons down I wanted to compare together. Um, again, in my opinion, 205, perfect premium, 176, another perfect premium in my opinion. This, for what it is, this is the one I will carry the most because it's the easiest to carry, the easiest to hold, the best grip. Um, I just feel like I got an old Bible in my hand. I just want to take this everywhere and read the Word of God every day, all day long. This, although it's easier to read, you also have to keep in mind that you have to be careful with the pages at times because it will flop over on their cells. This is a heavier Bible. As you can see, it doesn't have a horrible grip, um, but it's, it's a floppier. It's heavier. After a while, this gets heavy. It's not much heavier, but it does get heavy after a while, guys. And it's, it's easier to read, but, like I said, you're sitting there holding it after a while. <clears throat> you can't hold it by one, one hand up like this by any means. Because it would be really hard to read this like this. Because it flops so much. Uh, whereas the Concord, you can very easily hold it in one hand and read it all day long. Um, very easily done. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Please Click subscribe, get the news out there that I do these videos. I do them for your benefit, for your enjoyment, to for your information mostly to see what you want in a Bible. Uh, thank you for watching and God bless.